All right, here is another example of how we deal with rate and distance problems. Let's read it, get a feel for it. A police car and a sports car are 15 miles apart and traveling towards each other. The sports car is traveling 10 miles per hour faster than the police car and they meet in six minutes. How fast are they traveling? Wow, you read that and you go, where do I start? And you look at your general approaches and say, okay, distance one equals distance two. And wow, you get so confused so easily of something like this. Ah, the solution is let's draw a nice little diagram. So on one end, you have the police car. And on the other end, you have the sports car. There. They're traveling in opposite directions. The sports car is traveling 10 miles per hour faster. So 10 MPH faster. Okay. They are 15 miles apart. So the whole distance between the two is 15 miles. And the total, the total time that they both travel before they meet, and of course they're not going to meet in the middle because the sports car is faster than the police car, so they meet at some point, and six minutes have elapsed. So time equals six minutes. All right, by looking at this picture, something seems to emerge. You know the total distance traveled. You don't know how far the police car travels. You don't know how far the sports car travels, but you do know that together they travel a total of 15 miles. And it all of a sudden appears like this may be the equation we're going to need to solve this problem. The distance traveled by the police car plus the distance traveled by the sports car equals the total distance traveled. So let's try that. So distance by the police car plus the distance by the sports car equals the total distance traveled. And again, remember, that the distance is the rate times the time. So that means the rate times the time of the police car plus the rate times the time of the sports car equals the total distance traveled. Now, do we know their rates? We do know their times because it's the same for both. They're six minutes each, so I can put six in each of these. But what are the rates? All I know is that the sports car travels 10 miles per hour faster than the police car, so let x equal the rate of the slowest car, in this case the police car, so let x equal the rate of the police car. And since the sports car travels 10 miles per hour faster, you let x plus 10 equal the rate of the sports car. Now we're ready to plug all that into our equation. So the rate of the police car is x. The time of the police car is, ah. Should we put six minutes down or should we convert that to hours? Since the rate we use is, and the distance we use is miles, we should convert the time to hours in six minutes. Uh, there's 60 minutes in an hour. That is the same as one-tenth of an hour. So let's use the proper units here. So instead of six minutes, we're going to place, put in there one-tenth of an hour plus the rate of the sports car, which is x plus 10, times the time of the sports car, which is 1 over 10, equals the total distance traveled, which is 15 miles. All right, now we have our equation, and we're ready to solve it. I have fractions in there, so before I go any further, I want to multiply both sides of the equation by a number to get rid of the fractions. And since the common denominator here is 10, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 10. So 10 times 1 tenth, this cancels out this. So we have x plus, and 10 times 1 tenth, that cancels this one out as well. So we end up with x plus 10 equals 10 times 15, which is 150. Now we'll go ahead and put all the x's on one side, all the numbers on the other side. So on the left side, I have x plus x is equal to 150. The only thing I have to move is a 10. When the 10 moves to the other side, that grabs the equal sign, it becomes a minus 10. x plus x is 2x, 
equals 150 minus 10, which is 140. Divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals 70. Going back to what x represented, since x represented the rate of the police car, that means uh, the police car, the rate of the police car is equal to 70 miles per hour. And since x plus 10 is the rate of the sports car, 10 more than 70 is 80, so the rate of the sports car is equal to 70 plus 10, which is 80 miles per hour. And there's a solution to my problem. Now, after you use these standard techniques, it didn't, sound, didn't seem so bad.